Right. So <laughs> display number two in case number three. And yeah, I'm thinking I'm just gonna open all my boxes at first. And I have to hurry before Unlimited starts. So <laughs> there's no, no time to spare. I've been kind of like busy the last days. So I haven't really been able to, well, make any videos. And I haven't really been able to get into the collection and started to trading. So it seems like as long as I'm trying to film everything, because that's my pace now, it's really nice. I don't really know which card I own. So <laughs> I'm trying to figure out when I can film as and as fast as I can film and make my collection as well, how do you say it as uh, full as possible, so I can start trading stuff because I don't really know which card I'm missing or which card I actually have to trade. Yeah, that was rambling. But uh, so first out is uh, supposed to be foil. Doesn't look foil. Huh. That's super, it is foil. Nice, so Shadow of Blasnoveth, that's how I pronounce it. The first pack of the card of the day. And in the first pack, we do have a foil. Interesting, need to switch the lightning on maybe. But uh, that's a nice start with the Majestic. We have our hooves, and we have a Pulping, and a Beast Hulk. And a token. So, it's a good start of the first pack, and uh, yeah, let's see where this nice stuff takes us. And I'm super excited to start building decks, and I think Kane, Boltin, I'm gonna Boltin is gonna be like the number ones, and then we're gonna see where. So a foil Seek Horizon. This looks so much like a good mini card, even though you know, not a mini card, but looks like a good mini card. Rights and muscle. So yeah, this I think this actually the card set is amazing, and uh, how everything looks. And now it seems like the prices on displays of Monarch. Uh, like <laughs> maybe I'm hopefully no, I'm probably gonna be really wrong. But right now they are around three something, three twenty ish. So it's gonna be interesting to see now when Unlimited releases where they're gonna be at. So I'm not sure. Maybe I keep one box. Probably I don't. But when, I mean, why not keep one box when you have uh, Unlimited coming? So plow through and seeping shadows. And where are we? Four displays in. And we're gonna keep a pace up here, so we actually get to the good stuff faster. And see what we can get. And like, Talismans, one of the meme cards, I feel of this set. Foil, that is. But uh, probably a kind of sort of card, as I see now, because they're kind of rare in foil. Howl and the Soul Shield, nice. So that's probably my fourth soul shield, not sure. So that's gonna be on the trade list now. So that's nice. Even though, I mean, they're not super valuable now. It's more hard to pile into other cards that I need. And yeah, right now I still don't know which card I need because I don't have seen all my cards yet. Uh, so yeah, making me a bit of a passive trader right now, but that's okay. Foil, some legs, Seeker Eyes, and Captain's Call. And I would love some Illusionist Legendaries. That would be nice, because I want to try that out. But, uh, or maybe just gonna see where they are around in the unlimited prices and get one from there. Because, I mean, doesn't really, for playability, I don't care at all where they're from. Just a nice card that you want to have. Beast Hulk, V for Vanguard. That is a good card. So now we are, let's see, three, five, six packs in. This is the seventh. And we are on one Majestic and one Foil Majestic. So we are uh, on pair. 
with what you're supposed to get. So we need to get something more soon. Rift pine, something endless more, and invert existence. Really nice. I think that's also is my fourth one. So that's also going for trade. Uh, so yeah, starting to hit the like play sets of Majestics, but I still haven't found all of them. So I have uh, some that I'm still looking for. So. This is interesting to see the math on like amount of displays and like the how much dupl duplicates you get or not. Rising solar tide, nice foil. And then we have a helm, humility, and seeping shadows. Seems like the seeping shadows, I think I have hundreds of them. That's maybe just a feeling. Uh, yeah. So here some generics some illuminate memorial ground that's a nice looking card shadow tribute seek horizon foil again blue as well time skippers steeping shadows and captain's call so yeah when you start seeing the pattern that's not a pattern you see a pattern as a famous <laughs> someone said Never before. So, hmm. I haven't really thought about Seeking Horizon and which deck it should go, but now I have some foils. I want to play it because it looks really nice. And yeah, let's play. put a card from your hand top of your deck. I mean, it seems like a like a ranger card in a way, but uh, hmm. not sure. Deepwood Rumbler, Time Skippers, Seeping Shadows, and a Hexagore. So that's nice. I think that's my first. I have one in Cold Foil. Hello. But uh, this is my first non foil. So, and I think, like a weapon, you can for sure play with your foil ones because uh, they are not, in that sense, going to your graveyard. So that's one up for trade, probably. Or giving away to friends, uh, whichever comes first. And a battlefield blitz, this is a nice foil. Looks really nice. Helm, invigorating lights, and all right, light and lights. Wow, this one looked really good. Right, so two packs to go in the right side and we've done four eight ten i guess it's one one too many this one should be on the left side so we have 12 each math so we are on par with our majestics uh this is supposed to get six or our supposed and suppose that's what you is the random number that you get seek enlightenment or among this recital it's the foil, hooves, herald of judgment, and dusk part pilgrimage. So, one majestic foil is our like trump card. So let's see what we get in the left side here. And yeah, the first display, kinda average, got our six majestics one foil, and this feels like it could be the same. Uh, light instance, Nyrix, Rising, Void, Rising Solar Tide, Hooves, Rise Above, and a Consuming Aftermath. So let's go down the left lane and find us that library. I would sell that in a heartbeat, if, if possible. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't hesitate, even though it's a I think it's a cool card, even though it's landscaped layout. But um, yeah, I would sell it. Wonder what you can get for it now and what it would, would, would be worth in the future. So, light, a nice card, blood drop, howl, and a head of. Oh, a reduction. So, it's a nice card to have as it's 
I think I will have it in my illusionist deck. So happy with that. Could have been a full art, <laughs> wasn't. And uh, yeah, that would have been a nice, nice card to pull. Because that's probably, now Galaxy Black is the mo most valuable after the, it's the most valuable of the library. Is that true? I think it is. This one is on there, on the list. <gasps> uh, legendary. Wow. We got the soul. And let's see how it looks. Seems centered. Have a, uh, maybe a dent or it's just a pack. And yeah. Wow. Super nice. So that's my third legendary. I feel blessed. Uh, it's a strange one, <laughs> this one. Uh, I mean, you need to really build a deck around this one to make that one pop. So I mean, whenever you pitch a light card, if a card has been put into your hero soul, this turn gain. So in a Bolton deck, but you need really need to be strong on your. I mean, the art and the foil is super duper nicely looking. So oh wow. But I mean, you really need to have a light, heavy deck to make that one just continuously good. So yeah, this is a nice display, well worth it. And uh, hmm, can't complain, it's above average. So yeah, so that's my third uh, legendary in my eight tenth box. So I have kind of, I don't know what the average is, one for three or something like that, one for four, because it was one in 80 packs, I think on someone calculate that uh, before. Uh, so I'm just super happy I didn't get my duplicates of the ones I have. So, wow. Uh, <laughs> so that's just randomly lucky. I love it. Wow, so now I want to see if this has anything more to give? A nice foil. Plate. And Phantasmify. Uh, I mean, wow. It looks so legendary, this one. Like the. Yeah. This is it is really, really nice looking in this type of foil, where just the highlights, or you call it, are getting the shine on. So super duper duper happy, crazy card. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Didn't expect to get anything actually. So always happy when it happens. And a foil, dimensional crossroads. And this is actually my second only. So I need to find more. It's not the most expensive card, but it looks amazing. The art in foil. So super happy. Blitz and endless mob. And I need more, more perfect fits, I see. So let's see where we end up in this one. So yeah, good box with the extras here. Still need two regular Majestics, but <laughs> I feel like I'm being compensated quite a lot with uh, the other cards, some generics. Some shadow and light, some rush, and that's a print dot. You can see it, the blue one there. Or probably the white is printed above. I don't know. Hmm, that's a misprint for something. I was happy that wasn't on my legendary. Uh, oh, that's my foil. Stubby, Dusk Path, Seek Horizon, and a bubble. Yeah, so I got a legendary. What? Solen skiner, as you say in Swedish, because sol means sun in Swedish. Um, fun fact, that wasn't fun, but it's the fact of the day. Overload, shadow, rush, belittle, and an imprintable belief that looks super duper. Everything with gold just looks good in foil. Iron weave, dusk path. And a beast talk. 
We are on four packs to go. Let's see where we end up in this case. Nice class cards. Generics. Hope, Spew, Militia, Warmonger, Weavers, Seeping Shadows, Plow Troop. Saying, saying it, you get your Seeping Shadows in a mass. Once you start seeing it, it's no turning back. They are everywhere. So our stuff, Generics, Illuminate. Then we have a Rift Bind that looks amazing in foil. Gauntlets, Rise Above, and Rouse of the Ancients. Nice. I think that's my third, so I have a playset of those as well. It's a nice card and will be played for sure. So, two packs to go in this really good display. I'm getting the math. <laughs> still really starts to uh, add up for sure stony seek enlightenment and a herald of triumph foil don't mind if i do so let's see calentary endless ma and a herald of judgment and last pack of this display will be drum roll let's see where we at some nice cards. Got some nice shadow, a little bit of generic, a stony, a nice illuminate, stubby, consuming, and captain's call. All right, so uh, really good display. Hit one less majestic, but got a legendary. I can trade that every day. That feels super duper okay. So, the nice Vestige of Soul, some Shadow Blasmoth, Dimensional Crossroads, that's just nice art all around, and some good Majestics in general, I would say, that have their place in a lot of decks. So yeah, this has been a great display. Let's open another one. Well, shall we? Thanks for watching.